everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Demo Shelf here at Helling Wolf Games. Today we're going to feature Ashes, Rise of the Phoenix Board by Plat Hat Games, a, a magic style game that uses dice instead of all the mana cards. And as usual, what, what are you doing today? Uh, There's another gimmick, another prop, another costume. You didn't read the notes again. What, what are we doing today, Brad? I just... I'm going to the Renaissance Festival and I wanted to know if you wanted to go. Uh, yes. Let's go to the table first. All right, here we are at the table with Ashes Rise of the Phoenix Born. Literally the game I bought just because it is beautiful. It is. I sound way like my character in the beginning and the ending of these shows when I say that, but it's true. Uh, but I'm glad I bought it. Yeah, that, it's the thing that's going to grab you even from the, the box, from the, the, uh, the book, and the cards themselves. This game is gorgeous. All the artwork, uh, all the cards, it's just incredible artwork for that. But uh, how's the gameplay? Uh, the gameplay is... It goes pretty smoothly once you figure out everything, uh, especially when you go into it with a Magic the Gathering mindset. Um, you have your Phoenix Borns, which are your, your mages, your planeswalkers, as it were. Um, sorry, not trying to compare it to that, but for people that are coming from a gaming mindset that stick with Magic, then that's, this is the best description I can think of. Um, you have, you have a, your spell slots that you can use and your battlefield. Your battlefield is where you bring in your, your monsters and the spell slots are where you bring in your active spells, which can be used to bring in more monsters. Right. Mm, at that point, it's just pretty much a slobber knocker to take out the other Phoenix Born. Yeah. The, the game plays, to keep, I hate to keep saying it, but it does play very similar to Magic. But the main difference is instead of all your, I even know the names and whether the mana cards or the, uh, the, the fields. The lands. The lands. Mm -hmm. You're using dice. Uh, each character is going to have two sets uh, of these dice. And at the beginning of each round, you're going to roll them, which is going to give you different types and levels of magic. And uh, you will stop. And, yeah, I'll uh, stop. Baby. You have to be quiet. <laughs> I will I'll go back to the magic part. Okay. You ready? Yep. We're still rolling, right? Yep. Okay. So I hate to keep saying, but this game plays a lot like magic. Uh, instead of the uh, land cards that you use to, to get the characters out, you're going to use these dice. Uh, each character has two sets of dice. It's going to have five in each set. At the beginning of the turn, everyone rolls their dice, and that produces the different levels of, of power and magic that you can spend on your spell cards and your creature cards. Which thematically, I like a lot more. It's almost as if your Phoenix Born is producing the energy, the power themselves, instead of such as like magic where you are drawing it from the land. Right. So again, I'm, I'm big into story. I'm big into... Uh, themes and I, I really I love the theme of this actually way more than a lot of other games similar to this. Yeah, the theme is heavy and you know you're gonna have different types uh, of, of power when you roll the dice, but you know you're always gonna have ten. Whereas in Magic, you're it's all on the draw. Where mm -hmm. where are your lands and how you're gonna do it? So any any of the collectible card games like right. that, yeah. In that aspect, I really like this game. Another thing I like about this game is that each character is different, not only look but in abilities and power and health, mm -hmm. uh, number of spells. Each character is different, and you come with uh, what six preset characters, mm -hmm. and we're well, not counting not counting this one, which is the the little extra character that you have. But we'll go into that in a second. Right. All right, so you have six characters that, from the box, you can play each other and pick and go from there. And there's enough cards that you can even do drafting and create your own decks with, like you said, with the extra character. Right. So there's a lot of different playability, make your own decks uh, as you get used to the game, which is one thing you have, it's such a different system that it takes a little bit to get used to. And another good thing about this game, at least for people buying it, it, is, it does not have a collectible feature. You buy the set and it's done. You got everything you need right there. Right. 
And there are, I think, two present expansions and at least two more to come in the next couple months. Right. So, so that's going to bring us to uh, this point. Who should buy this game? I think that anybody that enjoys collectible card games would enjoy this game. Um, anybody that likes a drafting aspect in any of the collectible card games would love this game, especially when you go to make your own decks. Mm -hmm. Anybody that has a love for fantastic themes, uh, fantastic uh, stories would, would also love this game. And just the art. If you like pretty things, this is it. This yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, I agree. I think this transitions well for people that play Magic, doesn't want to put in the money. Mm -hmm. Also, Dice Masters as well, who don't want to put in the money. You get a complete set here with multiple decks. You can jump right in. So this game is really generated for people like that. So that's Ashes Rise of the Phoenix, born by Plaid Hat Games. So that's our thought on Ashes Rise of the Phoenix, born by Plaid Hat Games. Uh, just a really fun magic style game that uses dice. And I, I enjoy that a lot more than all those extra cards. So, uh, fun game. So, uh, when are we going to the Ren Fair? As soon as we're done with this. Time to box up this episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below to let us know what you want us to review next. <laughs>